Hi, I'm Brett, and this is part three of our video updates with our um, Project BRZ engine upgrade. And this particular car we've spoken about before, um, and the previous videos we've shown you what we've started with, with the base engine, the stripping down, the reassembly, and now we're actually starting to put the heads back on. So we've got the modified ported head here with the bigger valves, modified valve springs, and um, it's completely been all tidied up, so it's all nice and brand new. Our engine builder has assembled the top of the engine uh, head back together with the cams. You can see the variable cam, cam control pulleys, remembering it's got a timing chain, not a timing belt, so the tooths here are what drives the chain. And these parts here are what are controlled by the uh, ECU, the electronic control unit for the advance and retard for the variable inlet and, um, and exhaust cam control. So that part there will get bolted onto this side of the engine in a short period of time. But what I wanted to show you at the moment is what it looks like when the head is assembled. So you'll see here, again, this is the, the block that you'll remember from our previous video, the uh, front of the crankshaft, the drive for the two um, uh, cam chains, which will go up and around here, um, the water pump, which we've now put on, the sandwich paint assembly and the sump and of course the head. So the next step is to finish off the reassembly of the engine with the inlet manifold. Um, on this particular car it's going to have the uh, supercharger assembly from Sprintex supplied in Australia by Bullet Cars Australia and then we're going to add the turbo kit which will obviously get bolted underneath because we're twin charging it now chasing some pretty good horsepower and a really strong torque and uh, power curve. Um, the interesting thing is just a few small notes, remembering these engines, as we've spoken before, got a very low amount of gaskets and a high amount of um, three-bond glue. Already my engine builder is um, joking about the amount of glue that he's got to use to put this engine back together with the engine saying they're all held together by glue. Um, the uh, sensors on the engine are all a lot different as well. They've got different knock sensors compared to the EJ series engine here and here. This sensor here is a... Um, uh, crank position sensor which runs off the back of the engine whereas the old EJ series engines the uh, cam sensor and crank position sensor is on the front um, but um, big learning curve and a lot of opportunity now that this car's been in Australia for well over a year and um, we'll uh, have some more updates for you soon so um, have a look at the still photos that you can see as a link on the bottom of this um, video subscribe to our videos and um, we'll have another update for you soon bye for now